Hello, welcome to Jason Chat's vlog. Um, the idea behind these vlogs, because this is kind of like, like the first one, although it's not really the first one because I've made hundreds of these things over the years, but it's going to be. Um, in fact, I might even upload other vlogs from the past. Yeah, I may well do that. But anyway, um, feeling shitty. Been feeling really, really shitty. Uh, probably for a few weeks actually, but it's just today's one of the worst days because I've literally. I got out of bed. And I've not done any of the things that I normally do. I didn't clean my teeth, didn't do that stuff. And then, you know, I didn't make an audio session, um, a recording or anything for my website, for the podcast. And then I had my breakfast, I went back to sleep. And it's 20 to 5 in the afternoon. I eventually got out of bed, gave and got Andre, let him out. And then went back to bed. Admittedly, I had a fairly late night. I was in bed about just after 4, half 4. But even so, I'd been in bed all day yesterday and all day the day before and the day before that pretty much just tired all the time and uh, just run a bath I'm going to jump in the bath in a minute and this is the first time I actually f I'm feeling a little bit better which is strange. Just realized to, is that a bit better, a straighter picture? Ah, oh, who cares? So yeah, I kind of want to do a vlog, but have no one see it. If that makes sense. This is the, the bipolar mental illness weirdo Jason vlog and just need to talk to get crap off my chest it's like D Fleming <laughs> you know like you know, you know when you got like you need to just get that crap off you <clears throat> and you coughing it up and then you feel a bit better yes D Fleming vlog. So yeah, um, yesterday I posted. I don't know, maybe I was bored. Maybe, who knows? But I posted a post on Facebook, just saying. And I don't, I don't post many posts. Post, 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 post. It's usually just sharing my videos, my audios, my podcast, and occasionally a picture of Andre. Uh, that's about it. I share quite a few posts every day, to be fair. So I don't I don't post many of my own posts, you know, personal. Well, not personal, but whatever this was. But I posted, I hope that everyone is having a great weekend posting comments on Trump book and just posted that. The reason I posted that is because it was just like an ironic thing is, or a mildly humorous attempt. Because whenever I go onto Facebook, it's just this absurdly vicious, angry, vile, 
just just energy coming from it from different sides the people that uh, are not fans of the American president and those that are fans of the American, American president and he's not my president I live in a different country I have we've got our own politicians to hate we don't need don't need to get involved in America's politics I'm as interested in America's politicians as I am in India's politicians or Pakistan's politicians or Canadians or French's or Germany's politicians I don't care it's I've got my own ones there's enough here to deal with you know enough to deal with here with Brexit and all that crap so anyway I upset someone Rudolf his name was and he said something about I can't remember basically saying that um, if I'm a if I'm a Trump supporter I must be a fascist and he hopes that and, he, and he's gonna unsubscribe to me and he hopes that everyone else stops following a fascist like me that I'm paraphrasing but it's kind of that that vein a fascist I've never been called a fascist in my life I've always wanted a label I've got a label at last I'm a fascist uh, so yeah I, I just so I, I, I did comment back to him and he, he posted like three four three times I think and I was like what and in one of the posts it's like did I, I did I see right though I heard right that you've posted a a link to a, a page supporting Trump no I don't know any websites supporting Trump but I've not looked so it was, it was basically it was this he saw the word Trump and he reacted he and he could not see any more and his logical brain just turned into monkey spunk you know I couldn't function he clearly couldn't think clearly President Trump and his head exploded and oh, fascist fascist everybody's a fascist and like really kind of just lost it and sort of and aimed that slightly unhappiness at me you can have that now here's the anger you have it I don't I didn't didn't what well, I don't want it but it did affect me it did it's because previously he had sent some nice messages to me saying how what I do helps and it's like oh because I don't get huge amounts of messages from people telling me what I do helps but I do get a few um, on my website jasonnewland.com you can leave a message or whatever but I you know I get some messages for the hypnosis and the sleep stuff I do but that was like ooh vicious it's uh, it's, it's it's like oh it's at a level where you know I'd expect that if I'd just dunked my cock in his orange juice and you know and then like walked away in a restaurant and I was the waiter and I got my cock out and put it into his orange juice and then walked away giggled giggling I'd expect a angry response but even then I probably wouldn't get called a fascist probably get called worse but but what's worse than that that's like that's the being called a fascist is kind of the the equivalent 
to being called like a paedophile in legal terms, being called that, in the, it's like one of the worst things you can be called, isn't it? But a fascist, it's just a, it's not illegal to be a fascist. It's, it's just, it's, it's just a political stance, isn't it? But it's just like, wow. Oh. And I'm not really political. I'm interested in politics, more so in my country, because that's where I live and that's what affects me. But, you know, I'll keep an eye out for Trump and we get sound bites, we get little bits and here and there about Trump. And it's usually funny bits. It's like a little comedy act. We get the, the best bits and it's funny. And there was a thing on the, he was talking about global warming. Of course, it's a very serious subject for those that uh, like to get angry about it. And there's, he was saying about, he was mocking it. And because I say, don't they like, he, he does like to mock things. But he was saying something about, darling, uh, is it windy enough for us to watch television tonight? You know, talking about like living off the wind and the weather and stuff. Uh, wind power, solar power. And it was funny. It was, it's not correct for a president probably to be doing that, but if a comedian did that, it would be funny. You know, if a comedian was on stage, people would laugh regardless of their political persuasions. But there you go. And I imagine, well, who cares? But it bugged me. I, uh, I, I cancelled or not cancelled. I shut down my Facebook and my Twitter. But I didn't shut down anything else. That was the only thing I shut down. Um, I've opened it up again. And last night I did make a, a let me bore you to sleep session, so that was all right. But today, uh, and I've lost, it's not just that, but just over the last few weeks, I've lost interest in television, watching movies, uh, anything. I just, just seem to have lost any kind of like energy, not just physical energy, but internal interest that energy, the interest to do things. Um, I'm seeing a psychiatrist this week and hopefully I'll tell him, I'll just say, look, this is where I am. Because there's, there's two, not two levels, but there's two types of depression that I have. I have this type of depression which seems to gradually get worse over time and can last for quite a long period of time. But it never, it does, it has got, you know, really, really, really low. But it generally doesn't, because I'm on medication. I want to stop it from getting, it shouldn't get low with the medication. I shouldn't be depressed with the medication I'm on. Uh, Technically, I'm surely I'm on antidepressants. Why am I depressed on antidepressants? So there's this that I'm going through now, but then there's the the really low ones where it comes out of nowhere and I can't function to do anything. Like literally not not like today where I couldn't really be bothered to get up and do stuff. I'm talking can't be functioned, can't, e can't even, can't be functioned, can't even, struggling just to get out of the chair to walk into the bedroom to lay down. Um, and sometimes it's so low that it's, it's just, it's hell really. It's hellish, it's absolutely horrible. Um, but usually that last Sometimes it lasts for a short time. Sometimes it lasts for maybe an hour, two hours. Sometimes it lasts for the day. 
uh, rarely does it last that long. Usually it's over and done with after a few hours. Maybe I'll try and get to sleep and I'll wake up and I'm feeling better than I was. But that can come out of nowhere. That can come, I know the CBT practitioners, cognitive behavioral therapists, believe that it doesn't come out of nowhere. There's a trigger and you need to know what the trigger is and it's about thinking and it's, it's all, it comes out of nowhere. Sometimes, sometimes it is a trigger, I'll admit. Someone says something to me or I see something on the bus or something and it triggers me, I'll be honest. And I don't like the word trigger, but I react to it. That's a better description. So they use the word trigger all the time. You go onto a forum. You trigger me. Stop triggering me. I think we should leave trigger as the name of the character from Only Fools and Horses. Let's leave that. That's the only trigger we need. Let's all have a thing. Just let's talk. We reacted to something. Instead of this may trigger you, you may react to this. Possibly. Uh, so that's it. This is this is how I feel today. I don't know if doing this vlog has made any difference at all to me. I really don't know. But I, I just... I don't expect to want to do handstands and... And I don't really, I do, I say I don't, I, sometimes I do, but I like to be kind of low level. I'm not really a massively enthusiastic, let's go camping, let's, let's go on holiday for a week, let's, you know, let's build an extension. You know, I don't, I don't have that kind of uh, excitability within me. outside of maybe, I don't know, sexually maybe at times, but breasts, you know, that's that's kind of that's my limit really. As, but I don't have, oh, Andre, hello mate. You wanna come and say hello? Hey. It is Andre. Say hello to everyone. Hello. Hello. This is Andre Dooley Newland. He's my little boy. And he wants me to take him out for a walk, don't you? The other way his hands are on my fingers that he's so used to, oh that's it Lick, <laughs> oh I've never ever had him never had him filming him licking his balls before that's the first time ever seriously I've filmed him many times never he's never done that on camera he's clearly very comfortable being in front of the camera aren't you eh? <laughs> Little ball licker. I can't believe he licked his balls on camera. That's absolutely brilliant. That's funny. Eee. You want to get off? There you go. Uh, right, I'm going to go. Uh, <sighs> Go and have a bath. I need to change the paper on the floor. Stick that in a rubbish. Take him for a walk. Have a bath, then take him for a walk. I'm just. T I'm feeling better having talked. I'll be honest with you. I know it's been 20 minutes of pointlessness for those listening, perhaps, but I do feel a bit better having talked. 
so there you go. What can what can you do? Well, this is this is it. This is the situation that I'm in at the moment. And it's bloody yeah, I do feel better. It's really weird. I'm trying to kind of get in touch with how I'm feeling, and I did try and start a blog like. Uh, writing but just for me you know sort of like a diary can't be asked uh, my communication preference is talking and I realized that you can say well why do a vlog then it's easier to do, why not do a podcast and you are right You're right, actually, maybe do a podcast. But there's something, I'm, I've done a lot of vlogging and just, this seems to reach a, it's because I do a lot of, I've got a lot of podcasts on the go. I do a lot of audio recordings and it's quite nice to do something a bit different. <clears throat> you know, do something where there's no editing involved. It's just a podcast, it's just a, a blog vlog rather video and I just upload it as is then I move on and Andre's licking my shoe I swear he'll look at he'll look anything you will he'll lick absolutely anything he's got no he's got no class unlike his daddy no class also constantly doing this constantly fighting if you listen Andre, Andre, what are you doing? There he is, he did a big farty. Did you do a big fart? Yes, you did a big fart. What was that? That was a weird noise. What did you make that weird noise for? Doesn't oh did you sneeze sneeze? It's really weird. Upside down is the same with him. Makes no difference. It's, it's like his his brain doesn't really feel any difference if he's upside down or or backwards or forwards. Okay, go, go, go on. Right, that's it for me anyway. See you later.